This is a typical drive approaching the bay, with a lot of boats and the foreman's boats flying the flag. The ideal way is to drive the whales slowly, the same way as you herd sheep. There are currently 23 approved whaling bays, and each bay has four locally appointed foremen. Together with the police in the district, their task is to organise all the work connected with the whale drive and the killing of the whales. The directions from the foreman to the other boats and their crew are called through a megaphone or over the boat radio. It's a good idea to use the same radio channel. The directions can be heard clearly from the loudspeakers on the boats. When they have reached the point where the whales are driven ashore, the smaller boats sail close to the school, and then it is driven more vigorously in order to make it strand. In this situation, it's necessary for every single boat and its foreman to follow what is happening and to be in the right place at the right time. The smallest mistake can spoil a great deal. So also in the whale drive. properly. We often hear that the killing of pilot whales is chaotic and disorganized. In this case, there seems to be no organization. But a closer look reveals that there are more than enough people on the beach to kill the whales, and it all goes very quickly. Data has been collected in recent years on the time it takes to kill the whales. Monitoring from the years 1995 to 1998 show that 72.5% of all the whale kills have taken 15 minutes or less. As soon as the killing is over, the boats haul the whales to the location where the carcasses are divided and butchered. This work must not start before the killing is over, so as not to interfere with the killing and to have enough boats to haul the remaining whales. Yeah. 
Jag tar att man står där och skriker.